Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise and today I'll be sharing with you how I pass the NCLEX in 60 questions and how you can do it too. So before we get to it, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So I gave myself two months to study for the NCLEX. It was kind of hard for me to concentrate in the beginning because I didn't have a test date yet. So I was kind of just doing 10, 20 questions a day, not really focusing on any subjects. But once I got the test date, I planned out my study schedule and then I started diving in and really, really studying. So this is my study schedule. As you can see here, I planned it out for two months. I started out with OB because that was what I was struggling with the most. And because of that, I went through all my lecture notes during OB in nursing school and I made this study guide. And whenever I was stuck on a question and I looked through the rationales on UWorld, I would add that in as well. And for some of the diseases I wasn't too familiar with, I even used my Saunders to help me out. And I thought that was extremely helpful by making the study guide. So I went through all the UWorld questions and I even finished up all the incorrect questions that I did wrong until I had no more OB questions left. And then I felt more comfortable with OB. So next up we have PEDS and with PEDS I was struggling most with the cardio, like the heart defects, the developmental milestones, and the vaccinations. So with cardio I actually drew out all the heart defects as you can see here. It made me visualize how the blood flows in the heart with all the defects, whether it's cyanotic or non-cyanotic, and really helped me understand the defect. So I really suggest drawing it out as well. So with developmental milestones, I kind of just made my own system of memorizing. So with 18 months, for example, eight kind of looks like a scribble. And then I just told myself at 18 months, this is when they usually start scribbling. And then I add another like zero on top of the eight. So it kind of looks like a three block tower. And this is when they do that. And then another thing they do at 18 months is imitation so I wrote 1818 and that kind of symbolizes that they imitate their parents during this time and this is kind of a stretch but this is how I kind of memorize the developmental milestones and nursing school is a stretch when it comes to memorizing so I do recommend doing this as well and with vaccinations as you can see here two four and six months is pretty much the same and I just committed to memory for the rest of the vaccinations Okay, and on to med search and psych. I didn't make a study guide for these two because I was pretty comfortable with these subjects. They were my strongest subjects when we were in nursing school. And I just went through all the UWO questions, did all the uh, incorrect questions as well, and I felt that was enough for me to review. So I didn't study as much on these than I did in OB and PEDS. After reviewing all the fundamentals and critical care questions, I was scoring at 59% and I felt that I was kind of ready to take the first assessment exam. I took it two weeks before my actual test date just to give myself time to review afterwards. I didn't score as high as I wanted to. I wanted to get a very high passing, um, but I actually got high instead of very high. I scored a 58%, which put me at 41st percentile. It wasn't that bad, but it told me that I really needed to work on my OB and PEDS uh, sections. So I did that. I went through all my study guide and I did review a lot of the lab values as well. The second assessment I did two, three days before my actual test date. I reviewed everything and made it seem like that was my actual NCLEX exam and I scored much better on this exam. I scored a 71% overall and that put me at 87 percentile, a very high chance of passing. So after that assessment, I kind of just reviewed everything and went through all the rationales and I just reviewed lab values and that's it and I kind of just chilled. On the day of the actual exam, I did five to 10 questions before the NCLEX and that helped me keep my brain thinking and not be super slow during the exam and I suggest doing that as well. And another thing I suggest doing is turn off the tutor mode because NCLEX doesn't have the rationales right after you click a question. So it kind of gives you that anxiety when you don't know if you did that right or wrong. Because I know I would be super anxious if I kept doing the tutor mode and then when I went to the NCLEX and I didn't have the rationales right after, I would freak out. But I suggest doing that and it helped me a lot. 
So that is how I study for the NCLEX. I hope it helped. I'm in the process of compiling all my notes together. As you can see, I already have my OB and my PEDS notes ready, but I'm gonna add in my med search and my psych notes. So if you are interested, feel free to message me or send me an email. I'm gonna link my email below. And so yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please share with me your NCLEX experience and how you did. And I'll see you all next time.